another pretty morning with me and the turtles. I'm trying to find Simon. Where's that boy? Oh, I scared him. He's right there. What's up, bud? And here's Kyle and Rain's tank. You'll probably not be able to see any of them. They like to. They had a little better in this big tank. I usually see someone here though. Ah, uh -huh. I see Rain. There she is. Can't really zoom in on her that well, but it's a little Rain right there. And so this morning I'm going to be dehydrating the butternut squash. Here's my dehydrator. It's pretty big. It's got a lot of levels on it. I'm not going to be using all those levels, I don't think. But we're going to take this downstairs real quick. And we're going to plug it in. And I'm going to chop up. The, I did chop up most of the butternut squash. But there is a little bit that I haven't chopped up. I haven't had the time to do it. But I'm going to do that real quick and get my veggies in here. And then soon in a second I'm also going to be feeding the turtles. So, here we go. And I'm just going to plug this thing in. It's kind of high up on this table. I try and plug it in over here. Oh, there's my Elroy. There's my little assistant. He likes to help with everything. Ah, good morning, Elroy. So yeah, I'm gonna put this right here. He's gonna jump up here on this, yeah. He likes to jump on the counter even though he's not really supposed to. Yeah, he's good. And so, you, need, you may be able to hear it right now working. be working it so I will to plug that. I'm not gonna need this many levels probably. So I'm gonna put some levels here. Just start with the first one. And then where's my foods? Here's the turtle food I cut up. There's a large amount of it right here. <coughs> Bless me. Here's the turtle foods, and we're just going to spread that on across here. Oops. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to spread it on here. Oh, some of it's actually falling through. I probably should have thought of that with the carrots. But that's okay. They'll just dehydrate down there. It's not really bad for the dehydrator for them to do it down there. So, yeah. It's just another kind of, there's no technical exposed right there. And this butternut squash will take about one to two hours to dehydrate. The carrot will take about 24 hours. So I'm just gonna leave this carrot in here. How it is. And then I'll just leave the carrot pieces and pick out the apricot pieces. I think this is enough for one level. Mm, yeah, this is enough for one level. Now let's add the other level. Make sure to fit the pieces together. I have to have like this piece right here go into a spot without the um, stuff in the way. Which is those little bars. Okay, I put it in there. And then, just gonna do it over again. And some of that will fall down. Oh, a little piece that wasn't cut up all the way. Cut that up in a second. Don't want stuff falling down the middle. 
It's the one place you probably, I mean, I think it'd even still be safe, but me, I'll have them all like this. Okay, another level. Let me try and set this camera somewhere. I don't really have a stand or anything. Not too fancy. Here we go. Put this level on. And just twist right into place. Here's an uncut up carrot. I'll have to cut up that in a second. dump the rest of the bowl into here. Then I'm going to grab out my other mason jar from the fridge. We're also going to be using that. Heard a car honk outside. So now we'll get the mason jar of this and this. And all I'm going to be doing is putting the rest of that onto here, and then this part I have to cut up. So I'll be back when that's all dehydrating together. Yeah. Alrighty, so now that I have chopped up the rest of that, I've already added some of what I've chopped up to here. It'll probably need one more layer. Like, um, I'll probably have to use this last layer, but there's still some room here. So I'm just going to put that into here as well. And I may be able to fit all of it up in this top level. I don't know. And I don't want to crowd it too much. Let's take some back. And then spread all this around. Okay. So that'll be on this last layer. This is the lid. This is the last layer. It's not a lot. Okay, we'll try one more time. Okay, I think it's good enough. It's kind of loose, but as soon as I put this lid on, that adds some weight. And that's also an extra level, so I messed that. perfect. So now all I have to do is put this top part on and then we'll plug that bad boy in. And yep, so we have had a start, a good start, and now I am going to or I'll make a video, too, of the finished product. So I'll make um, everything, or I'll show you everything dried up. and 
because I think it's going to look cool. I'm pretty excited. But I'm going to store it in these mason jars right here for my turtles to eat. And I'll still store it in the fridge to keep it fresh even though it's dehydrated. Just because it's home dehydrated and I want to make sure it stays fresh. But, yeah, I will be back for our last steps. It has been an hour. I hear my first one hour alarm for my dehydrating stuff. So, I'm gonna get that. Check on that. Uh -huh. They're not too dehydrated yet. I'd say it'll take a little longer. The ones on the bottom definitely look more dehydrated than the other ones. So, yeah, I'm gonna give that another hour at least. So after all that, here are the carrots and the butternut squash. Got them in all containers, as you can tell. They're all, they're all dried out, and that's about all. Peace out.